Hi, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a uh, shiny button in Illustrator. And hopefully I can do it pretty quickly. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is pick a shape. You can use a circle, square, triangle, whatever. Uh, I'm going to use a, uh, a square with rounded corners in CS5. There happens to be a shape uh, with a, it's a rounded rectangle tool is what it's called. So what we'll do is we'll go over to our tool palette and we'll pick out the rounded rectangle tool. If you only had the regular rectangle tool, you could go to Effect up at the top, down to Stylize, and then to Round Corners. But I'm just going to do it this way. And I'm going to make a square. Okay. Looks like I already have a gradient selected. Let's pretend like I didn't. Okay. I zoomed in so you can see a little bit better. Okay. The first thing that you're going to want to do is pick a color. Um, I'm going to go with... Oh... Uh, green. Let's do green. Okay, so there's our there's our button. Uh, the first thing that you want to do, or the first thing that I'm going to do, there's a few different ways to do this, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a gradient. So we'll select our button, we'll take the green color that we wanted, and let's actually, let's use this darker one here, and we'll drag that down to the gradient area of black. And what that'll do is that'll make, give us this gradient from dark green to white. We want from dark green to lighter green, so I'll drag this one down in there as well, and down into the white spot. So that's what we have so far. Uh, I'm going to make the gradient go up and down. So what you'll do is you'll select your gradient tool over here, hold down shift, and start from the bottom or the top, and go from up or down there, just to make it from top to bottom. And that's what we have so far. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I think the easiest way to do this is to probably take your pen tool and you can press P to get your pen tool or over here in your tool palette you can select the pen tool uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this shape here it goes around the edge and what I'm just trying to do is draw around the exact edge of this uh, thing that I've made And as you can see, it's being filled in with that same gradient that I have already. And uh, I kind of like the way that that's looking, but that's not really what I was planning on doing. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with my original plan. I'm going to make a kind of an interesting shape in here just to give the button a little bit more depth. Okay. Um, yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing right there. You can work with that a little bit if you wanted to. Like I said, I'm going to stick to my original plan, and I'm going to color this in white. As you can see, it's not quite perfect. For the purposes here, it doesn't need to be, and it probably doesn't need to be anyway, but uh, you can decide that on your own. So I'll take this shape. Um, I think I want it to come down maybe a little farther, so what I'll do is I'll select some of these anchors with the direct select tool and then I'll just use the arrow key to move them down. And the reason I do that is because if you just click and drag this, it'll manipulate some of these anchors up at the top as well. And we don't want to do that. So, here's where I am so far. Uh, I'm going to click on this shape, and I'm going to take it down to about 10% opacity, I think. And uh, right there, you could be done, if you wanted to be. I'm going to do just a couple more things. Uh, but you could be done right there. Some people stop right there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this here. And just so I can see it better, I'm going to go back to 100% opacity. And I'm going to make a gradient with this. So I'll take the white here, and I'll drag that down to the light color. And then what we'll want is probably to keep this green, actually. And then what we'll do is we'll take our gradient tool, and we'll just play with it a little bit, see how we want it to look. I don't think I want it to get completely white. So what I'm going to want to do is we'll have the white area go outside of where we're dragging. Yeah, something like that might look kind of nice. Um, might be better instead of using this dark green to use the lighter green that we had before. So we'll just drag that over here. Oh, have to have this selected for this to work. So we have that lighter green. Eh, the darker green was be better. So we do Control Z. Maybe we put white down here and dark green up here. That seems to make sense. So 
what we'll do is we'll just kind of switch that around. Okay. Here, what I'll just redraw it. Like I said, I don't want it to be pure white. In fact, maybe what we do is instead of having this pure white, let's use those same colors that we had before. We'll kind of go like that. Okay. Yeah. You could use white because what we're going to do now, and we'll just go with this, this is fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it back that opacity, and we'll try 50%. That looks pretty good. Then maybe we'll feather the edges a little bit and go to effect, stylize, feather. That will be pretty good. Uh, 10, picks, uh, 10 points looks pretty good. That'll just kind of look at, make it look a little bit beveled or something. And uh, right there, that's pretty much that's what we have right now. Um, we can kind of play with it a little bit more. Put that shine up in one of the corners. You know, something like that looks pretty good. But really, uh, we're pretty much done. So it's up to you to kind of play with it a little bit more. So anyway, I, uh, I hope you learned something here. And uh, please uh, watch the rest of my tutorials, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching.